clues before I forgot. So gin and juice, gin and gin and juice. Gin I can go juice. for gin and juice right now. Mm, maybe later. Yo, uh, where's RJ? Get RJ to get us some drinks. <laughs> Yeah, the honestly, ladders are essentially safe. gone. Uh, but back air is still very safe on shields. ESS is still an amazingly mobile character new. Like, the characters still, like, just fly around the stage like it's a ballet or something graceful, or, you know? And it looks like Palutena is going to be coming out. Uh, Juice does... Uh, actually, no, I'll, bring, I'll just only bring that up if I have to. Anyway, we're here on Pokemon okay. Stadium. Surprised, uh... Kind of surprised that, uh, actually, I feel like this is a good stage for ZSS, too. I feel like ZSS definitely moves around the stage very well. It's just Palutena, you know, her combo game on the stage. It's like, you ridiculous. know, her, her way to get out of disadvantage on this stage is definitely also very good. You know, this is just a really, really good stage for Palutena, so I'm surprised that Juice elected to take, uh, elected to take, uh, Jen here, but, uh, we'll see what he's gonna be able to do because of it. They probably gentlemen's the Pokemon. Probably. Um, but what I wanted to say about ZSS here is that, like, obviously ZSS, as we mentioned, um, earlier in the broadcast is a very, very combo-centric character, but there are some instances, uh, like we saw Juice against, uh, Derpiger in Tri-State, uh, and the Tri-State circuit where he tried to string together a couple of forward airs um, and a couple of back airs, but he just wasn't able to. Palutena is sort of at that height where you get her at a certain percent, like 30, 40 percent. Juice is going to be able to string together a lot of those and put Palutena in a disadvantage, but it's going to be about how he approaches and puts himself in that position. Yeah, absolutely. It's whatever openings that he decides to create for himself, whatever openings he really can. Here we go. There you go. That's it. Down smash to the uppy. Some things don't change, Newt. Yeah, yeah. Some things don't change. I mean, actually, that did change. It was usually forward smash that, like, ZSS did back in the day. He could have gotten away with either of those, but yeah. Pretty much. Know. We've seen Juice do that a bunch of times. He does, like, he does, like, the boost kick. It's a little bit of a safer option in terms of kill potential. So, uh, center stage there would have been, uh, probably would have killed anyway, but he just wanted to make sure. And now we see uh, only 104. Uh, back throw, um, at this percentage... It's going to be close as to whether or not it kills. Now it's definitely going to kill. But he wants to stay as close to center stage as possible. Back air? No. Good exit out of that situation by Juice. Mm, B reverse wave bouncing right there. The uh, neutral B. Trying to tack on damage while uh, providing some safe pressure right there. It's not going to work out for Jen. As he's going to eat a lot of damage for it, actually. Already at 55%. While, while Juice still, of course, sitting cleanly on his first one. The back air. Still not going to be able to do it. And just all the aggression coming out from Juice. This guy is the most aggressive ZSS that pretty much you'll ever see. Like, he'll, he'll throw himself off stage when it is clearly not a safe position for him to be able to do that. Because that is just how he plays. He likes to catch people off guard with those aggressive options. Thinking, like, there's no way this guy's dumb enough to do something like that. He's not dumb enough to do something like that. He's smart enough to do something dumb enough like that. Because you know that he's not going to, that you're not going to expect him to do something that dumb. Exactly, which, which is what makes exactly. it smart. And it's a hell of a lot of fun to watch, too. Um, you know, and we were talking about before, it's sort of the way, already racking up 114% on this second stock here for Jen. Um, and we were talking about before, the ability to, to rack up some of those right there, percentage a little bit too high, but once we got up to 60, 70%, he was able to string together a lot of those, put Palatina in a very high percentage situation. And now Jen on his uh, last stock here in this first game. The down air launching him off. No grounded spikes. It's gonna it's gonna send him in one direction or another. Down throw bear? No, just down throw fair instead of trying to do it, but it's not gonna wind up working out for him. And the up tilt into the up smash, into the back air, a clean 34. Coming out from Jen right there. I'm uh, not Jen, coming out from uh, Juice right there, still doing a good job at uh, forcing uh Still doing a good job at forcing his advantage, tacking on that damage when he has to. Playing with his classic aggressive style, but not too aggressive. As you can see, like he's trying to keep when he lands those nares, he's spacing them as properly as he possibly can. Jen realizing that, knowing that on shield he's not gonna be able to punish that, regardless of how like his down throw backer's gonna do it, regardless of how fast you know Palutena is, how fast she'll be able to get that grab, electing to go to parry it, because that's pretty much the only way he'll be able to get that kind of punish, which he did! Oh, just barely missing the strong hit of that boost kick, but I like the option there. Back air. There. Stage again. Tried to catch his jump right there with a uh, rising forward air and the tipper side B. Not going to be able to do it yet either. Juice looking very poised to be able to potentially take this game right now. Just with all the aggression in the world, it's such a hard thing to adapt to, man. ZSS, it's like a pinball, like going all around, like, like <laughs> going all around the pinball ring right there, and you're just like a lonely flipper who can barely move compared to her, you know? One of these little uh, turnaround backers that Juice has been going for is probably going to take this dog as long as they're close to the ledge here. So obviously, Gen, very, very aware of that. Another boost kick that doesn't quite work out. Um, he's at a percentage where he can afford to take a strong hit like that, but he needs to be a little more careful here. 
little bit too high to string you in. The second hit of that forward air. Brian Miller, short hop back air, is able to take that first game for Juice. Yeah. Very well spaced back air right there. Not that it would have mattered as much. Uh, ZSS's back air still since the prior game. Safe on block. Yes, absolutely. Such absolutely. a fast move that kills. Such a good neutral tool as well. Ooh wee. ZSS's back air still definitely one of those amazing ones. Um, yeah, Juice, that was game one. You know how it'd be. One game one. Sometimes it just sometimes it just you think it's gonna be like that, and then it is. Sometimes it's the opposite. Sometimes ish. Some pe people think people, ish don't be like it is, but it do. Sometimes and, uh, it, it really don't be like it be, but it do. And then, it, and then you <laughs> see, and it be, and then it go, and it flow. That's what I was trying to say. So, yeah, yeah. I, I figured that's what you were trying yeah. to say. I, I apologize. <laughs> that was what was on all of our minds. Anyway, yep. we're here on game two. Juice taking the first one up against Jen right now. This is semis. I believe this is still best of three territory. Uh, yes, so, we are still in best of three territory. I think once we get up to top 32, um, we are going to start seeing best of fives. But we're still chilling right here. Both of these characters really, really looking to make it our way into top 32 here. Um, Juice with uh, a little bit of a percent disadvantage here, but he's going to continue to do exactly what he's doing. String together some up airs here. Again, Jen really wants to get down. I'm catching myself saying that. I'm catching myself saying that. I realize that now. It it's okay. Don't do. Don't stress it. Don't worry, man. That's it. That ladder definitely would have killed Palutena in the last game. Yeah, it would. <laughs> But, but that's part of the reason. That is the last game. Are, uh, that's a part of the reason why a lot of people are really having this debate. It's like you can't just up air, up air. You can't just Nairo combo yeah. like you like you used to be able to. Yeah, ZSS just can't cheese you anymore. It doesn't mean the character is bad. No! Oh, he and Juice loves to do that as well, ladies and gentlemen. He loves to go deep with that side beam, which, if you space that move properly, is also safe on blocking the neutral. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He went deep for that, too. He was still able to make it back with the boost kick. He's really mixing up his recovery a lot here. He's mixing up his options off stage. Something that we don't typically see that often from a ZSS. You don't typically think of ZSS for her edge guarding potential, but uh, at least off stage, that is. But Juice demonstrating that ZSS has a lot of. Of options here. Yeah, absolutely, man. And this character, you never want to give a player as aggressive as Juice, you know, all these safe options. Because, like, that's when he starts to spam them until they work. Yeah. You know? And then all of a sudden, you have to be a wall and find some way to just, like, and just find some way to, like, wall out the aggression that, like, you know, the CSS presents before you. And it's easier said than done with how mobile this character is. Oh, we see it again. We saw him get it the last stock, too, in that side. Be able to kill off of the side. Juice with a commanding lead here. Only 112 on his first stock. Back throw, not quite going to kill yet. Let's see what he does off stage here. And good on uh, good on Jen recognizing how uh, how much uh, Juice loves to do that by the ledge, regardless of what percent you're at, to try and cheese out a kill, the flip but kick. We, yeah, you know. yeah. But good on him just like hanging back, you know, to laying his uh, up B to make it back because he knew exactly that he was uh, he knew that Juice was going to go for that exact option right there. Oh, no forward smash right there. I assume that was going to be an F smash. Maybe he didn't want to eat a hard punch in case it whiffs somehow. Because yep. the move is quite slow on startup. But I feel like he probably would have been able to land it there. But regardless, and just trying to catch him with the up B. I'm surprised he didn't reverse his up B right there. Because he, even if he reversed his up B, he would have been able to drift back to the ledge. Okay. And it would have been, and, if he, and you know, obviously if he landed it, it would have killed, uh, it would have killed Jen. But Jen putting himself on the board, sealing out a stock with the neutral air. 94, I've seen him do bigger upsets than this. Do not count this man out. All right, well, I won't. I'll take your word for it, but it's not looking too good here for Jen. Juice is going to be able to hang back a little bit. Go for a lot more of those airs. Let's see what he does off stage here. Whoa, oh, and that's, that's how you bring Dan about. back. That's exactly what you were talking about. Don't count this man out. And Palutina is going to be able to rack up a lot of damage if he's able to get him. I think he's fine. No, he's not. I oh, lied. I'm sorry. Famous last words, the nudist. <laughs> you jinx him. Jen's, Jen's going to come after you later. I think yeah. he's fine. Yeah, but, uh, probably. Despite, despite the best efforts of Jen to try to bring back that second game, Juice able to convert into another boost kick. And that is going to kill off the top. Juice will be moving on into top 32. That and was really actually just winner's semis of that pool. So he's not moving on into top 32 just yet. He's furthering. He's moving on to winner's finals of his pool. Professional commentary. Hey, man, it's, we know exactly what we're talking I've, about. I've never even played this game before in my life. Dude, I thought this I, was I was just walking outside, man, and they were just like, yo, you have a nice voice. You want to you come in? You want to you wanna commentate Smash? You want to like, commentate some Unionist for me? Be like, like will yeah, you, sure. Will, will you give me some food if I do? Yeah, man. 
All right. There's no food.